what is very apparent in this circumstance is that our two criteria of in alignment with the earth and at the same time safe and safe for the people who are using it these two criteria are fighting an intense battle not easy to bring them into alignment so far isn't as strong. stable as mm -hmm. or as strong as mm -hmm. concrete. The question I is, could we try it and if not, uh, quickly adjust? That's the thing, like quickly adjusting in the rain season would will be a problem. Like I don't think you can do that mm. because you can't build stone walls when it's raining heavily. Like because like, uh, especially not in this position because the water is flowing down constantly mm. so that's a problem like i think so it needs to be dry for that does it like can it's you build 48 it? hours 48 hours yeah to, really? to have like the stability like 24 to 48 hours but to have it like really stable e even like of course one week is better than one day so it's like getting really stable this will be very rare in December, January, 48 hours without rain. Yeah, yeah, and the thing is, um, like building these will, I already said, like takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Like it's not a thing for two days and then it's built. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. will take a lot of, a lot of time. What would be the potential harm that's caused in the rain season? Is it just like a little bit of soil that gets washed every day on the, on the pathways that we could just like, like, put back on it with a little bit of manual labor, or is that really like? Every day the pathway is not not possible to use because it's like so destroyed. I'm not that concerned about like the everyday soil on the uh, on the pathway. It's more like this soil filling up with water, filling up with water, filling up with water, and mm -hmm. one month later, like the whole the whole earth mm -hmm. on this part slips down. Mm -hmm. That that that's like onto my the, that's what I'm tent. worrying about. Okay, got it. Um, so. Yeah, that's what I'm worrying about. Mm -hmm. Like, if we wouldn't have anything there, we, we would yeah. like if nobody would live there for yeah. the next month, it would be a nice experiment yeah. to to see if that's not that's uh, but yeah. that's the problem. Yeah, and as as Adi said, like we would need two tons of cement to build this if we would use traditional cement. It would be it would be like CO2 emissions of like one thousand eight hundred kilograms. Um, and of course with traditional cement like there comes always this um, option of toxifying the, 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 the earth like this you always have to with, with cement mm -hmm. now we see that the, like out of our many criteria the the sustainability and the safety criteria they're they're uh, fighting mm -hmm. <laughs> fighting, <laughs> fighting heavily against yeah, each yeah. other yeah yeah always <laughs> Can we can we can we use it in a step with plaster, or is it a problem? Like, what do you think? Like, can we use it 
for the stairs, but with plaster. With but with plaster. But, with plaster. Yeah. but this is fine, like but with your plaster, right? With the uh, EC three hundred eighty plaster? No, the plaster uh three zero one. Yeah, but you can use uh, cement or something ah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, but we would like to use like the, if, if possible, like the echo one. So would it be possible? Like I just just want to show you like how we. Uh, the the echo one is the brick, uh -huh. but the cement is same like uh, others. Ah, you the, yeah. the cement you use is like exactly the same. Like yeah. and what is like EC three hundred eighty like three eight zero. Yeah, it's plaster like other. Yeah. That's classical plaster. Yeah, ah. but not made from. Yeah, mortar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. mortar. Oh. Yeah. But but yeah. not made from like nature materials no. or no, no, not made. Yeah. the the nature Just is the stone. this is the stone, that is made from the uh, fly ash and bottom ash. So do you think like this is stable enough or not? Like why? No. Not stable. Yeah, yeah. not stable enough. You think because, because the, of the water also or? the the uh, the, the soil? earth yeah, yeah. maybe uh, it's a bit sometimes rainy or mm -hmm. will be down. Yeah. Also, yeah. alles war aufgebaut, dass es auf jeden Fall so wirkt, dass wir alles, was die verkaufen, mm -hmm. halt equal. Mm -hmm. Also, also. Our decision is like based on like it has to be safe mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm at least um, toxic chemicals as possible like um, cement and so on so this is like and we we were sure like we thought that um, the plaster you sell like is um, from eco materials too and we can use it in combination that's the problem right now yeah. that it's not crazy question Adi what do you think about bamboo stairs? Bamboo stairs. This is not bamboo. That is, yeah, yeah. This, this is wood, but yeah. but possible bamboo. Bamboo lifted lifted over the earth a bit. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think really <laughs> sounds good, huh? Dangerous, <laughs> and yeah. you just dangerous. wasting yeah. your money. Wasting your money. Yeah. Because, because uh, yeah. bamboo the rainy and will be slippery. Slippery. Yeah. And I'm sure you're just wasting your money like that. So I suggest you please no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will just lose a lot of money for that. Mm -hmm. Because you have to chain soon mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Even if we do it by from wood? From wood no. From wood can be longer, but yeah. uh, not uh, need the high quality of wood. Normally we can use ulin. Yeah. Uh what else? Merbau uh, or iron wood. Okay friends. Ah, we have some challenges that we are facing. So we wanted to do the pathways and uh, like the main, the main pathway, the main stairs down to the river and the little pathways to the tents um, in a way that is as eco-friendly as possible. And then we found a nice company, EcoCrete, they are producing um, it's more sustainable uh, concrete alternative but somehow that's not working because they can only they only produce these bricks that I show to you um, but we need to plaster the bricks so that they like are glued glued together and like by plastering that we need even more cement than if we would do that with like natural stones all the nice sustainable alternatives that are possible possible building material they are not as strong as concrete is which is a drawback in our really steep and at the same time in the rainy season really intense climate so we need str we need something really strong to be safe and we're checking a possible alternative to make all the stairs and all the pathways from wood and lift them over the ground. Possibly this might be a solution. When we proposed that to Adi, the, the first thing that he said was like, this will be so expensive, you will waste your money. <laughs> now he's calculating. Hmm. As it turns out, the biggest challenges so far are not the place where we will be staying, our tents and our platforms. This was pretty straightforward but the pathways and 
to be really stable and really secure. This proposes the biggest challenge so far. In a recent team meeting we went through all the different criteria that are important to us when we are building. Things like that they are as sustainable, as regenerative as possible. That they are safe for children, for older people. That it looks beautiful. That it is visually appealing. Yeah. We have a long list, but what is very apparent in this circumstance is that our two criteria of in alignment with the earth and at the same time safe and safe for the people who are using it, these two criteria are fighting an intense battle. Not easy to bring them into alignment so far. While well, Adi is calculating, the next working day on the land. Do you hear that? That means we have electricity. The workers are drilling and they are very busy building our first bamboo platform where we'll soon put our first tent on. So nice. They're making insane progress. Like one and a half hours ago when we arrived, they were just starting out and now already like the basic frame is there. And then they have put the bamboo plupu as a as a um, as a floor and then our tent. <laughs> oh my god. This only for the wood, if you use woolen. This and this? Yeah. Oh no, this together? Yeah, this together. Wow, that's a lot. Uh -huh. That's this about uh, 290 million. Mm -mm. 20 sacks, man. 20 sacks, mm -mm. 800 kilograms? Mm -mm. mm -hmm. And what was the what was the cement for the for the stairs, like the, the option before? Not with before wood? 400. 100? 100, yeah. Sacks. Plus what? Handicap. Yeah, but only the stairs or with with the stone walls. Mm, everything. Everything. Yeah. One hundred. Everything. One hundred sack, and now we have twenty sack. Yeah. Okay. But much less. The yeah, much less, but uh, make a uh, course. Bit, yeah. Not bit. Lot of up because yeah, yeah. of the wood. Because of course. Yeah. 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 Do you have photos of like how the wood would look like? The wood. Of course. Ah, in there also. That's not smooth yet. Yeah, it has to be smooth. Mm -hmm. And then treated um, with something. Not treated. Ulin do need not to treat it. That's yeah. Uh -huh. well, okay, For ulin, that's a high quality. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They can stay until 500 years. Wow. Where is it coming from? From Java? From Borneo. From Borneo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's already quite late, friends. This was it insanely productive afternoon with back-to-back -back custodia lab get to know calls tomorrow we're gonna start oh, with our community of practice tomorrow there will be four more calls scheduled and then in the evening i'm gonna open the group and i can tell you like the quality of creators coming in is insane Wow, this is by far the most potent container I hosted so far. This gives me a glimpse of what will be possible like when we are gathering here at the land. Ciao. <laughs> Building is going good as well. Major challenges, you saw them. What will we do? 
to bring safety and sustainability together. There are options in the field, potentially doing everything from wood, from iron wood, which is super pricey. Tomorrow morning, David and I are gonna have a major meeting about that. Yes. Yeah, although each and every day there are things happening right now that feel so far out of control, so far out of comfort zone. We're navigating this process beautifully with the right balance of surrender and at the same time inspired, dedicated, committed action. Very happy how we navigate this. Today's October 15, one and a half months until the first phase needs to be finished. Tomorrow we're gonna continue this roller coaster. See you guys then. If you wanna be part of what we're building here, it's your invitation to apply for Custodia. For December we are already at full capacity, but the applications for January are already open. By then we'll pretty likely have uh, found <laughs> A solution to our pathway pathway issue. <laughs> Looking forward to all the custodians that we're gonna be able to welcome on the land. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. And by the way, thank you. Thank you for 100 episodes of our shared journey. Thank you for following along. Thank you for walking this path alongside us. Onwards to the next 100 episodes.